Hi, everybody. Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, I'm excited to be a part of the Card Making Therapy Blog Hop. I have a project that I'm going to be creating in this video featuring more new goodies from the Making Spirits Bright release by Simon's Stamp. So to begin, I've got these super de-duper adorable picture book dies. The picture book deer, picture book Santa, picture book snowman. I'm in love with them. There's getting to be quite a few picture book dies now by Simon's Stamp and I think it's fantastic. And so I'm starting with the deer. As you can see, I'm running him through with several different pieces of solid colored cardstock. For example, the antlers. I'm doing that in a dark chocolate brown. I did his body in kind of a khaki with a little bit of cream. For the Santa, running him through with some red and white, a little bit of cream for the face. You get the idea. I don't show it because I crank this big shot like nobody's biz. If you didn't want to do this a hundred million times, you could just crank it one time with white cardstock, color in all the pieces with Copic markers, or ink blending, however you want to choose to do it. Lots of different options to do with these picture book dies. So now what I'm doing here is tracing the dies and I'm gonna just fussy cut it out loosely on the inside, try to make it a little bit smaller. This was my first type of solution idea to have something to adhere all my picture book pieces to. Does that make sense? Cause I didn't, I want to pop up my little critters. Once I'm finished, I want to pop them up. So um, you have to have something to adhere all these pieces to. Didn't end up being the best solution uh, until I can think of a better way. This is all I got right now. So you can see me adhering all these pieces. See how my Santa hat, my little backing is too big. I end up having to trim that so that none of the white shows through. Anyway, that was my problem. My backing was too big. So I gave Santa a cute little pink nose because he's cold. I gave him some blue eyes. And Santa's got to have a shiny gold belt buckle with his black belt. I'm enjoying this. Can't tell you how much I love the quick pick tool. So I'm putting all these together. And you can see there I've got to trim off that excess white backing. I don't want that to show through. I went ahead and did all of my picture book dies. And now I'm cutting a tri-circular window panel if you will. So I use the nested circle dies and I cut three big circle openings. And now I'm going to do a little ink blending on my card base to go behind the windows. Does that make sense? So I'm using distress inks. I want to talk quickly about the card making therapy blog hop while I'm ink blending. Um, if you're not familiar with Amanda from the Crafty Pill, she is the host of this card making therapy blog hop. You have to go check out her blog, The Crafty Pill, especially her YouTube channel. It's also called The Crafty Pill and she is such a talented artist. I'm a big fan of her work. I love her style, clean and simple, lots of color. She's beautiful by the way, but most of all her heart. It's truly beautiful. I admire her so much for sharing her story, for being vulnerable. And uh, it's all on her blog, her testimony of how card making has helped her to heal through what she has gone through in her life. And she felt that she wanted to reach out and share this and have a blog hop in hopes that it might help others. And I'm humbled to be just a small part of that along with her. And so back to the card, I'm just ink blending and blabbing away to my <laughs> things I'm best at, uh, finishing off my last little backing for my circular window panel, doing a little blending with wilted violet and picked raspberry. Gosh, I love these colors. You know, I'm going to try to sneak in a little rainbow action if I can, even though this is going to be like a holiday card. But who says holidays can't have a little rainbow tucked in? You know what I'm saying? So once I get these little ink blended backdrops, of course, you know what comes next. I got to flick on some water. I'm on this kick now of using a tiny little brush. I kind of like it better. And then I'll dry it off with the paper towel. And then I put a lot of foam tape behind that window, their circular window panel, popping that up. And the next thing to do is to pop up our picture book die. So I've got the snowman here. Then we've got the Santa. I put foam tape on the back of these as well. And last, but certainly not least, is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Had a very shiny nose. He doesn't have a shiny nose yet, 
but he's gonna because mama's gonna add some glossy accents to take care of that so don't worry i'm also adding a little bit of white gel pen to the dots of the black eyes and then for santa's blue eyes i started with a copic multi-liner that did not cut it so i pulled out the black enamel accents and added the teeniest dots you've ever seen and that was perfect here's the glossy accents for rudolph's shiny red nose i also gave some to the snowman and then some very very light pink rosy cheeks i also added a white embossed sentiment from the merry and bright stamp set and that is it thank you so much for joining me make sure and check out the crafty pill and the rest of the card making therapy blog hop thank you so much for joining me today have a wonderful day and i will see you next time